This time, let's look at limits graphically. Let's start with this example. This is a picture of a graph. It's the graph of y equals x to the 1 third minus 1 divided by x minus 1. We've looked at this function in a previous video, and we looked at it numerically, and we figured out that the limit as x approaches 1 of this function, x to the 1 third minus 1 over x minus 1, is equal to 1 third. Let's see if we can figure out what that means graphically. As x is approaching 1, that means that the x value is going to be 1, and that's going to correspond to a y value of 1 third. If we can see that on the graph, if a is equal to 1 on the x-axis, we go vertically up to the graph of the function. There's a little hole in the graph right there. But then if we go over, we find the corresponding y value is going to be equal to 1 third. Now, that's, that's not the value of the function. When you plug in 1 into the function, you're going to get 0 over 0, which is undefined. But the limit as x approaches 1 is 1 third. And we can see this description of x getting closer to a, but x not equal to a. The value of x gets closer and closer to l. By looking at this x right here and the corresponding function, which is in this case is x to the 1 third minus 1 over x minus 1. So if we take a particular value of x here on the x-axis, it doesn't matter where we take it. We'll take it right there. We go up vertically to find the corresponding point on the graph. We go over to find the corresponding y value. And we find that that's f of x. And we can see that if we move x closer to 1, the corresponding value of f of x will move closer to 1 third. And that's a graphical description of what's happening with limits. So now let's look at a problem that asks you to think backwards. So here we're asked to sketch the graph of a function y equals f of x that has these properties. So instead of being given a graph, we have to come up with a graph that satisfies certain limit properties. So we start with a set of axes. And let's start with the idea that f of 2 should be equal to 1. So we should plot a point where the x-coordinate is 2 and the y-coordinate is 1. That's that dot right there. So that'll be a point on the function. So now let's look at limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is equal to 3. So that means that there should be a hole in the graph right there at x equals 2 corresponding to 3. There has to be a hole because f of 2 is equal to 1 and 1 is not equal to 3. So we just have to sketch a graph that comes up close to this hole. Uh, so the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x will equal 3. So here's such a graph. So this graph will satisfy these properties. And we can see this phenomenon again that as x is getting close to 2, f of x is equal to getting close to 3. Take a value of x that's somehow close to 2. Go up to the graph, find the corresponding value of f of x. And we see that as x is going to move close to 2, f of x will move close to 3. That's a graphical description of limits. It's a graphical description of our description of limits.